Hello again. Some of us woke up to some lying snow this morning and others it was rain and others we saw some sleet. But it has been a cold start. In fact, temperatures in the North Highlands fell to minus 16 Celsius, making it the coldest night of this year so far. Now, snow is going to be an issue today. The Met Office has two amber weather warnings in force. Both of them kick in this afternoon, tonight and tomorrow. This one for North Wales and Shropshire. On higher ground, we could see up to 30 centimetres of snow and we could also see some freezing rain as well. And in this one across the Trans-Pennine routes, on higher routes, we could see up to 40 centimetres of snow blowing and drifting in the wind. Low pressure is driving our weather. We've got mild Atlantic air in the south, so we're looking at rain, but in the cold Arctic air further north, we're looking at snow. So snow continuing through the afternoon across North Wales and North Midlands, into Northern England and also Northern Ireland. Behind it, some rain showers, some of which will be heavy and thundery, and a few wintry showers across the north and the east of Scotland, but here it will be mainly dry. Temperatures, it's cold. You can see the division between the Arctic air and the milder Atlantic air, and it's also going to be windy. So the snow will be drifting and blowing, and in the tops of the Pennines, for example, we could well see blizzard conditions, so poor visibility. Through this evening and overnight, the snow continues across northern England into Scotland and Northern Ireland and North Wales. The low pressure bringing it moves slowly from the west to the east and in doing so drags some of that snow out of the southern uplands and also Northern Ireland. Clear skies means it's going to be another cold night in Scotland, minus 15 quite possible in the North Highlands. The risk of ice on untreated surfaces and a widespread frost away from the south of England. Now into Friday, the low pressure continues to move away onto the near continent, dragging the snow with it. The winds will ease behind it, but there'll still be some wintry showers coming in across the far north of Scotland. So in picture form, you can see that quite nicely, how the snow continues to fall in similar areas, and then it gets pushed down in the direction of East Anglia, and then eventually it clears with just a few wintry flurries behind it. The winds will also ease, there'll be a lot of dry weather, peppering of wintry showers in the north, but it's going to feel cold wherever you are.